Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Laura Bellis, naturopathic doctor, and I'm here with part two of our androgen special series. If you did not watch the previous video about the four types of androgens that you need to be testing, you definitely wanna go back and view that first. But today we're gonna to talk about how you can use natural therapies to lower and help lower androgens. Remember, androgen hormones are a type of hormone that can cause a lot of symptoms if they are in excess or if you have too many of these hormones in the female body. So the androgens are the family of testosterone-like hormones and they can create hair thinning at the top and the sides of the head. They can create acne, especially around the jawline and the cheek area. They can cause facial hair growth, the coarser hairs around the, uh, the face area, along the abdomen or the nipple area. And of course, they can cause irregular cycles. So a lot of women with PCOS have excess androgens. But what can we do about them? Well, there's actually a lot of natural therapies that I use in my practice with my patients one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, for those of you that have ever been on the birth control pill or taken a medication called spironolactone, these are also helpful ways to temporarily lower androgens. The problem with these is once you stop taking the medication, these symptoms can come right back. And unfortunately, I've seen this happen a lot with my patients. So we want to, the goal is we want to move things into a new state of balance and to hopefully prevent excess androgens for good. Now keep in mind, these can be very stubborn hormones and they don't shift overnight, not even a month or two. It can take minimum three to six months before you really start to see these levels drop down. It's always a good idea to get tested before so you know what your androgen levels are to begin with and then retest in three, six months or a little bit longer. Of course, you'll start to notice an improvement before then, but this is a really great way to stay on track with your naturopathic or functional medicine doctor. Now, a couple of the favorites that I have are the foods because foods are easy, foods can be implemented super, super simply, uh, and they taste good. So pumpkin seeds, by far one of my favorites, and then my spearmint and green tea. Now, if you're caffeine sensitive, stick to the, green, uh, stick to the decaf green tea or the spearmint tea. I also like nettle, and nettle is a um, kind of a herb that we use a lot for allergies. It's very anti-inflammatory. It's also a great source of iron and vitamin C. So nettle, if you can find it, it's a little bit harder to find, but this can also be a great tea that's herbal and can be a great way to help lower your androgens. Remember with teas, you really gotta be having at least two to three cups a day for it to have an effect. Now, onto the herbal side of things, please note that I am not your naturopathic doctor, so the herbs that I'm going to be suggesting here are things to talk to your healthcare provider about. Remember, working with a naturopath or a functional medicine doctor, we're trained in this area of natural supports, so you really want to talk to someone that knows their stuff when you talk about dosing and which herbs might be best for you. But a couple of my favorites would be licorice, would be uh, saw palmetto. Uh, saw palmettos in a lot of formulas um, for testosterone reducing in women. Um, and definitely when I think about um, licorice, saw palmetto, I also think about other herbs like white peony. Uh, and this can be a really, really great add on to whatever else you're taking. These are just some of the herbs. I also like reishi, which is a medicinal mushroom, uh, which can be great for the immune system and anti-inflammatory effects as well. So a lot here for you guys to consider and a lot for you guys to talk to your healthcare provider about, but why not start with the foods? Why not get lowering your androgen sooner rather than later? And if you haven't yet picked up my balanced che uh, hormone checklist, make sure you download that in the comments below. Uh, I have a link to do that so you don't waste any more time and you can start on your way to healthier hormones.